YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and today I have a very special unboxing for you. This is the Pixel 3a. It was just announced today, and my local Best Buy had one in stock, and I bought it. Best Buy has the best deal, because you get a $100 gift card after you purchase it. So this phone is $400 minus the $100, so it ends up being $300, um, if you look at it that way. This video is not sponsored or anything. I bought this with my own money. And I want to give you guys a unboxing and a first look of this phone. I went with the purplish color. I know there's that, um, that black color or really black or whatever Pixel or Google is using. But this is the purplish color and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. So let's go ahead and peel this off and give us our first impression. So I've been saying for a long time that uh, Google should make a budget Pixel, put the great camera with a, you know, a decent internal, because right now the Pixel is just a very expensive phone. So um, they were listening to me, not really, and uh, came up with this. So here's the phone, obviously. It's in this nice packaging. The, the packaging feels premium, which um, I tend to enjoy a good unboxing experience. Let's put the phone away for a second and see what all it comes with. Um, so up top here, we have our booklet and I believe SIM card removal tool right here and then we have our booklet and this is a little sticker a little team pixel sticker you can get your uh, you can slap it on your uh, your Chromebook and then some instruction manuals and disclaimers and all that stuff we can set that to the side has anyone ever read the user guide to any product they have bought and you're under the age of 50 I'm just wondering I've never looked at a phone user guide before I don't know how much time they put into it and then we have our sim card removal tool I love sim card removal tools I actually keep these for every phone I get so so we have USB-C on both sides here and then we have our converter so um, it converts this USB-C to a normal port I use these with my MacBook actually really cool so we'll set all this stuff to the side and then we have our charger at the bottom I will presume and here it is, USB-C charger. This is gonna be our fast charge brick right here. How we're gonna get all that fast charging goodness, we can do it all right here. Okay, let's get everything out of the way and dig into the phone. And in case you're wondering, everything is so dim in the background, I'm actually working on a brand new setup and it's not ready yet, so I kind of dimmed it out a little bit here. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and peel this back. Oh, love the sound. Ooh, don't move the screen protector. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Very simple, basic looking phone. Let's go ahead and power it up. Has this co very cool lime green power button, which I actually like. It's kind of a, kind of a different look. It's kind of a unique look. Um, I sort of dig it. Go ahead and power it up and then we'll do kind of a tour around the phone. So let's start with the back. We have our fingerprint sensor right in the middle, very similar to the standard Pixel 3 right now. Um, we do have our single camera and our flash right here. And then as I said before, we have our power button and then we have our volume rocker right here too. On this side, we have our SIM card. There is obviously no SD card support on this phone. On the bottom, we have our USB-C port. And we also have our bottom facing speakers. On the standard Pixel, you have front facing speakers, but these are bottom firing speakers. That's something you're gonna see. There's gonna be some compromises to get to this price point, and I'll discuss that, and obviously in a different video, we'll dig into it. But let's focus on this phone and what we have with it. This is, this is definitely a budget phone, right? Um, it's $400, and you compare it to Samsung's budget phone, the 10e, and then the iPhone's phone, the 10R, you're gonna see this is a much cheaper phone as those phones are around 749. I guess while we're doing this, we can uh, talk about some specs. It is a 5.6 inch display, 2200 by 1080 resolution. It has dragon tail glass, which is a little bit different. Um, it is a 3000 milliamp battery, four gigabytes of RAM, and on board, we do have 64 gigabytes of storage. It has the same camera as the other Pixel, but one of the main differences, it doesn't have the Pixel Core, um, and that will be seen as far as how fast images process, and also how fast you can get into the camera, how it runs, how it feels in the hand, and give you some early impressions. Okay, we are back. I got everything set up. I got logged into the phone, and we're gonna take a look at a couple things. First of all, the fingerprint scanner is what is as, you, as fast as you'd expect. 
pop right in once you tap it. It's, it's very, very smooth. Boom, right into it, just like the standard Pixel. Um, around the top, you do have the bezels at the top and bottom. I mean, it is what it is, they're there. They're not horrible, um, but it's definitely not as felt as some of the newer flagship phones, obviously. But um, for a budget phone, although it's plastic it, and it is sort of getting these little fingerprints on the back here, it still feels really good. It's definitely lighter than, uh, than some phones I'm used to these days, but um, overall, I think it feels pretty good. For $400, I wanna reiterate this. This is an amazing phone. I think when you compare it directly to the 10 or compared to the standard Pixel, um, getting to the camera is just a little bit slower. It takes a couple, couple of moments longer, but at the end of the day, it's not the biggest deal in the world to me, especially if you're saving all that money. Um, didn't do extensive testing, obviously. I just got it in my hand, so this is really going to be a, uh, a first impressions and an initial impressions, if you will. But let's go to the camera because this is a Pixel phone. We're going to take a couple of sample photos. So I have a couple things here on the desk that we're going to take a picture of and see how it comes out. So we're just going into the camera and doing a standard picture, and then we're going to hop over to portrait and do a portrait shot too. Okay. So the shutter is actually pretty fast, which is, uh, which is nice to see. We're gonna work, we're gonna practice some depth of field and see if we can kind of blur out this background pretty good here. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a selfie, which I'm not a big on selfies right now, but um, you know, we can do a portrait selfie. Okay. I wanna flash these pictures up on the screen and let you guys judge and let me know what you think. Um, I'm thumbing through the pictures right now and I think they, they look really good. I've seen some tests online comparing it to the standard Pixel and the differences is so negligible. I think that you're not gonna notice a huge difference. Um, overall, this camera is as advertised, it's a Pixel camera. But anyways, um, I do need to do more testing. I need to use the phone a little bit longer before I give some definitive opinions. Usually I wait about 30 days of using the phone, but I might do two weeks on this phone and to determine a final uh, result and kind of how I feel about the phone. Anyways, guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja. Once again, I bought this at Best Buy, $100 off on the gift card. Went to my local store and picked it up. But anyways, guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a great day. Make sure you subscribe for more content because I will have some more videos on the Pixel coming out very soon. Take care, guys.